Ben here from Novel Wines in Bath. I'm going to take you through all the tasting elements this week and today we're talking about body. So how do you decide if a wine is light bodied, medium bodied or full bodied? I've got some examples to show you from the Novel Wines range in just a moment but here's a little treat and a trick for you. So if you have at home or you can easily get hold of skimmed, semi skimmed and full fat milk it's a great way to start feeling how the texture is in your mouth. So, uh, with the skimmed milk, it will feel quite light, so a little bit less viscous um, and be very, very easy to drink, but it will probably feel like it's lacking a little bit in flavour. Um, with your semi-skimmed milk, you get a little bit more coming through, it's usually a little bit sweeter, a little bit more flavoursome, uh, sticks to your palate just a little bit more, and then when you have your whole fat, full fat milk, uh, you get really sticky, viscous kind of texture, loads and loads of flavour. And sometimes that can be too much, but sometimes if it's balanced, it's really, really good. So, in wine, let's start with two extremes. So in red wine to begin with, Pinot Noir tends to be very, very light, and especially if it's from a cold climate. So here I've got 16 ridges Pinot Noir, it's early Pinot. Uh, this comes from Worcestershire. This is very light, loads of red berries. Down the other end, I have our brand new full-bodied Fausto Tanat. So this is really thick, you can almost see legs on the glass. Uh, and this is coming from Brazil, warm climate, very, very rich black fruits. In the white wine, uh, we have English Bacchus, very light white wine, um, loads of citrus flavours. And on the full-bodied, an oak ferment, and that's going to be really buttery and rich. So, if you give it a go in the milks, go to your local wine merchant and ask for a Pinot Noir or a Tanat, a Bacchus or a Sauvignon, and then a Ferment or an oak aged white wine. It'll give you a good picture of body in wine.